Welcome. Today's tutorial is about how to install and use Dual Less. Dual Less is an extension and it is very useful for those teachers who do not have a second monitor and wish to have two screens display on one monitor. Now, let's jump right into it. The first thing you want to do is to open Chrome and go into the Google search engine and type in dual less. So that once you type in dual less, you want to get the extension. Once the extension pops up, you want to search for it. The first result will be what you're looking for. You will see dual less and you actually will see it marks the extension. Now, once you click on that, it will divert you to the Chrome Web Store. Once you're in the Chrome Web Store, the extension is now available. However, if you desire, you could scroll down and look at the information or the features relating to the dual less. You could read on it if you so desire. The very most important thing at this point um, is to at least add this to your Chrome. But what I want to point out is the icon. So notice you're looking for this icon. So now you can add this to Chrome. Once you press add to Chrome, it will now start checking for the extension. And then once the extension becomes available, you can simply click, click add extension. Once the extension is added, now your prompt turn on sync. So it will work with your meet. So once you turn on sync, you notice the prompt removed from Chrome is now available. Now you do not click that because you want to make sure it remains unless you want to remove it or uninstall it. Now you can also, if you're using different emails, it will prompt you to decide with what email you want to use. And so I'm going to use my second email and I want to go to continue. And once I put press continue, I could cancel the rest that is there because it already added, which is the most important thing. I can now close this tab and go inside of my meet. What you want to do is to click on this icon that looks like a part of a missing puzzle and the word extension will pop up. So this is the extension icon. Once you click on that, you're looking for your dual less. So you go all the way to the bottom for me. So all the way to the bottom. And notice the pin is in white. So you want to click on that pin. Pin it to your task, your task bar. Once that is done, you can actually come out of that. And so just a point to note, if you want to remove it, you just click on these um, three dots. And you can unpin, you can remove and all the other options. What you want to do is to come out of that and now dual less is now available. But what you can do to use it if you're presenting on one screen, so you could, if you press on this, what you'll notice, it will give you some option. What do you want to do? So let's say um, a three to seven ratio screen. You can even choose a five by five ratio, which is a one to one equal screens. And so you have different ways in which you could actually make your screen display. So let's go with the first option and choose in the 3 by 7. So notice what you have here. You have a screen that you can display and you can be on camera on this screen. While you're on camera on that screen, you also could present this other screen. And this other screen could be, for example, your information screen. Um, you could have um, your PowerPoint. And so you could display both and you could go to present now and decide which one you want to present. And so you could be seeing a student at the same time while presenting. So it's also a good way to present information. All right. So if you do have any question where this is concerned, then you can leave your questions in the comment section. I could also press back on the dual screen if I want and also I could even close the tabs. I can also increase one screen. So 
I could just go over it and extend it to the right or to the left according to with what I want. So I can just readjust the size of any of the screen. All right, so it's a very useful tool to use when you want to do two things at the same time. And again, you can decide what screen the student will be seeing. So you could be typing something on a different on one screen while the students are viewing on the other screen. So it's very, very useful. So it's very useful, especially if you want to take notes of what the students are discussing. Let's say you're having a debate. Um, you could be writing on the pointers on a screen or even a Word document while the students are presenting. So it's very useful in doing all of that. So again, if you really have any questions uh, or anything you want me to look at, and I will do my very best to come back at you as quickly as possible and with as good information as best as I know. All right, so keep tuned until we meet again. Be safe.